let's let's talk about something. Okay, I'm I'm probably not the best guy to talk about this, but you know what? It's got to be said. I've I I I've, I've given it a chance. I've given Star Wars EA Star Wars a good chance, and you know what? I can't take it anymore. I can't take all the bull crap anymore. Everything that I've been told, it just seems to me that EA simply does not care. And Disney, you guys got to do something about it. And they're not, they're probably definitely not going to, you know, come across this video and, and, and take one look at, at me and the rest of my videos and be like, we should probably listen to this guy. They're probably, if they even find this channel, they'll probably be, they'll probably be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? He, he has no idea how to fucking make a goddamn video game. He doesn't know how to make a goddamn movie. So what does he know? Well, here's what I know. Is that if you expect me to buy a good product, or, uh, excuse me, hold on. If you expect me to buy your product, it better damn well be good. Okay? I played a lot of Star Wars games when I had the PlayStation 2. Everybody has. Everybody my age now, I can't believe I'm saying that, but has played the old Battlefront 2, Battlefront 1, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, Jedi Academy, J Jedi, um, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, which I still play that game from time to time. And, you know, it might not be for the single player and maybe just the multiplayer aspect because of mods, uh, custom lightsabers, you know, all that, all that really cool stuff. And, you know, that's what I enjoy about, you know, old games like that is that they stand the test of time. It still looks beautiful. It still feels great. It feels like Star Wars. And trust me when I say I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm probably one of the biggest Star Wars fans you'll ever see on the internet. So, <clears throat> when you put out a product like Battlefront 1 and it looks like fucking... What did it look like the first time? It l literally looked like, um, like a dev test. Like if it was literally a developer test game or an engine test. That is literally what Battlefront One is. It was a cash grab, and that's what I feel Battlefront Two has been so far. It's just been yet another cash grab to try to get as much money, milking as much money out of the Star Wars IP before Disney decides to give it to somebody else. And fucking EA has Star Wars for at least another five to six years. Since their contract isn't even up until 2021 or, or something like that. And honestly, I fully believe that Disney needs to pull the plug on this. I fully believe it because nobody's going to freaking buy the next Battlefront game at this point. I mean, all all these, all this scammy freaking crap and all the freaking canceled games, thirteen thirteen, and um, what was that other one? That that one that was going to be like Star Wars Uncharted. I would have played the living shit out of that game. Multiplayer or not. Okay, not every single game needs multiplayer, EA. Okay? Not every single fucking game needs to have multiplayer. It, not every single game needs to be a goddamn shooter game. Not a lot of people like shooter games. And, you know, I'm one of those casual guys... Uh, casual shooters that you know expect like good gameplay, good story, 
good graphics when, when it's needed, and so on and so forth. I'm not expecting, you know, shit. Because that's what it was. That's literally what Battlefield 1 was. And they fixed a lot of that with Battlefield 2 by giving us uh, the ability, uh, by pro literally giving us the same ability to, you know, go through um, how, how to, uh, you know, be a hero slash villain during multiplayer segments. Kind of like the second game allowed you to do that. It was really nice. I really enjoyed that. But it's it's not like what the old Battlefront 2 game was. It's completely different. And it gives us, you know, the three eras that we expected in the first game. We didn't get that in the first game. We got shit. We barely got shit in the first game. The second game felt close as a game. This, the, the story, I didn't even finish the story. I had to, uh, I, I just couldn't get through it. But, you know, I, I keep hearing from everybody else that the story wasn't even worth it. It was too short. Um, it felt like it wasn't worth it. It felt like it brought nothing to the, to the Star Wars universe. And that the story mode in Battlefront 2 was a basic slap in the face to us Star Wars and video game fans. You know, not a lot of people... Well, I, I guess I could say that a, a few gamers aren't even Star Wars fans. Which is absurd. But that's their opinion if, if they want to like Star Wars or not. They probably were interested in the game, and once they played it, they were like, man, this is fucking shit. Why would I ever buy anything like this ever again? So, it makes me worried. Um, Jedi Fallen Order is a game that's set to come out late this year, like Christmas this year, or something like that. Around the same time that Episode Nine is about to come out. We have... Or I have no idea if they're going to do if they're going to do um, Battlefront Three, but it's to be expected that EA and Dice is probably going to grab Battlefront Two, reskin it, and rename it Battlefront Three, and probably add just a few more features, maybe a few more heroes, and literally microtransaction the living shit out of it like they have in the past two games or actually within the last past game since the first game had literal loot boxes all in it at least they had the nerve to take loot boxes out of the second game and god damn it, if I fucking hear the goddamn words the special words coming out of anybody's mouth battle royale I'm going to fucking beat, beat somebody I'm going to literally beat somebody's ass because I'm getting sick and tired of all of this bullcrap. If these next, if this next game, Fallen Order, turns out to be nothing but shit or it gets canceled again, Respawn, if, if, if Respawn gets shut down, or this, this game just out of nowhere gets cancelled. Then I fully expect Disney to pull the plug. I fully expect Disney to just take back the contract. And tell EA, you're not living up to the expectations. We gave you, t uh, we gave you a 10 year contract to make games. What did you give us? You gave us... A dev test and something everybody was very frustrated about. And trust me, I gave Battlefront 2 the utmost try. I wanted to like Battlefront 2. And I still, 
Oh, I, I don't want to say I still, but it scratches my itch for Star Wars. It scratches that one itch for Star Wars. And it's already uninstalled. I'm getting ready to freaking install Anthem whenever, it, um, whenever I get access to it. And come around my birthday, um, whenever it comes out, I'll be playing it. So, I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know if EA even cares about the gaming community anymore. I'm probably just going to put this out there that EA is probably nearing their final uh, their final titles. So with games like Anthem, the next Madden, the next NBA, the next Star Wars game or the next FIFA I don't know if they freaking do NBA but these might be EA's final games since a lot of people are very very frustrated with the way EA's just been treating the gamers you know, we're expecting quality content. Content that we're supposed to enjoy, not freaking run to the internet in the first sign of freaking issues. Okay, I'm getting, I'm really getting tired of day one patches, day one DLC, day one this, day one that. Premium bonuses for pre-orders, which a lot of people aren't even pre-ordering anymore. You want to know who's pre-ordering? The rich assholes that could just throw money wherever. The fucking rich assholes that are buying rated M games for their little fucking six-year-olds. That's who's still pre-ordering. And at this point, I'm literally about to go to the nearest GameStop and pull all my, all my pre-orders and just get all my money back from whatever games I, I still left pre-ordered. I can't even remember what games I left pre-ordered, but um, I'm... I'm done with EA. If Jedi Fallen Order, if the next Battlefront game turns out to just be complete garbage, which I can assure you it will, I'm done. I'm probably not even going to buy Jedi Fallen Order. I'm probably not even going to look at it until there's gameplay. There might be a little excitement, but until I see gameplay, until I see actual good gameplay and I'm not looking for movie CGI fucking style graphics I want to see gameplay as a gamer that's what I expect from a trailer from E3 is gameplay not demo bullcrap. Not fucking easy ass shit. This has got to stop. This is, it's it's got to. Because if it doesn't stop, and if it keeps going, then the gaming industry is just going to get lower and lower and eventually it's just going to crash and there's probably not going to be any more good games for probably the next five years Kingdom Hearts 3 came out the other day it was well received Anthem's about to come out next month around, uh, on my birthday and everybody's already talking trash about it 
everybody's already saying that this is not going to be any this is not going to be good and i was actually looking forward for this game up until recently this month when i found out that all that everybody uh, that's going to review this game are going to get easier copies and the economy is just going to be way different basically much much easier much cheaper for for example me who's going to be playing it on my birthday gee thanks EA I guess that is I, I mean I, I guess getting a game for my birthday is okay but if you're just going to give me a fucking shit ass game then why do I even bother? <sighs> Anyways. So I'm I'm cold right now. I'm cold, I'm tired, I don't feel good. And EA it's just constantly pissing me off. So you know what? At the end of the day, it just doesn't matter. EA is going to do their thing. We're just going to sit here and freaking pay for it. But we can do something. We can definitely, definitely do something about it. And that's using our wallets. We can all decide whether to buy a game or not. Nobody's forcing us to buy a game. EA cannot legally force us to buy a game. This is why I will implore everybody to not pre-order and to just wait until the game comes out. The game is still going to be there. It might not, you know, get good sales day one. But day one, when day one comes out and everybody sees how shit of a game it is they'll realize wow i just saved 60 dollars for playing shit because everybody knows if you buy if you buy anything from gamestop you will automatically not even get 20 percent of your money back if anything you're you're going to get five dollars back from gamestop when you can literally just go to the nearest local store, tell them, look, I'll, I only played this for five minutes until I realized it was shit. And they'll probably give you at least 90% of your money back. <clears throat> or that's what I would do. I would go to a local store, and or yeah, a local game store, and buy there instead of GameStop or even buy off of Amazon because at least Amazon has a good return refund policy. I don't know if it if it's uh, if it's kind for gamers, but at the end of the day, let's just wait and see what happens. But until then, it's just going to be a rumor. So, I'm not entirely sure how Anthem is going to be I might end up playing it when I have access to it since I have Origin Premiere, but I'm definitely not going to stream it until my birthday. So, I'll give it a good try, and again, if it's any good, then I'll play it on my birthday. We'll, we'll stream it. Uh, we'll stream it come that Friday, and um, we'll just have to wait. Actually, hold on a minute. Since I won't have access to it until February, what, 14th or something? February 13th is the preload date. So, I have no idea when I'll be able to play it. Origin Access Premier Release Day is the 14th. So, I'll literally be able to play it on Valentine's Day. But since I'm going to be busy Valentine's Day, I'll probably end up playing it this weekend. So, it just really depends. Anyways... Thought you guys like to listen to my little rant about EA and Star Wars. Again, I I would rather want Disney to just pull the plug, but I I want to see how Jedi Fallen Order uh, plays out. 
I hope it's a good game. And if it's good, then EA may have saved themselves. But if it's not, I'm, I will implore Disney to pull the plug and get out of that deal. And give it to someone who's going to take care of Star Wars. And I know it's a really long shot to say this, but I would much rather Bethesda work on Star Wars. You know, Bethesda, the one fucking company that knows how to make single player story driven games. And even if, you know, even though they're working on their own um, sci-fi title that looks, you know, great, even though it's just a trailer. And just from the freaking trailer, it looks like it's going to be a great game. You know, I can't, I really can't wait to see more of that. But really, honestly, Disney should have chose Bethesda. Or if you were really looking for someone who, who was going to do story-driven games, I'd hate to say it, but maybe Activision. Maybe could have chosen Activision. And maybe, just maybe, they could have made Battlefront just a little bit better. I just don't get it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Activision could have could have made the game better? Or would it have just been another battle? Uh, would it have just been another Call of Duty shit fest, kind of like Call, how Call of Duty has been for the past few years? Anywho, that's all I have to say. So, what do you guys have to say? Leave me a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe, hit that like, hit the notifications bell, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.